Hello, uh, I'm Tenzin Wang Gyal Rinpoche, and very happy to be here in Torion and see how the school is doing, how the kids are meditating. It's a wonderful experience to be here. Meditation is something that very much working with our own mind as a human being, who we are, our consciousness, it's infinite possibility of learning and growing is there but not always we are able to fully connect with our deep uh, possibility the infinite possibility quality in ourselves so meditation is good for every age every group i come from the tradition where you know where since age 10 i have been practicing uh, with my teachers, with my uh, fr uh, colleagues. And so for many years, I always felt that these meditation would be very, very beneficial in many settings, uh, in the children, education, in the prison, in the hospitals, when the people are sick, it's also like a very great healing. This is not only people believe in something nowadays, so much a scientific research is coming every year there are more and more scientific findings that how meditation helps many many different ways so so i'm very very happy to see that children here are really like uh, benefiting a lot out of these teaching and meditation la historia de este colegio escribe hoy un capítulo diferente un capítulo lleno de luz un capítulo con una iluminación que llega hasta nuestros corazones. So I see this morning these three pills here and these three pills here. So I'm I'm guessing most of you are know what this is, right? Stillness, silence, spaciousness. The cat nace del deseo de un grupo de los consejeros del Colegio Americano de Torreón de ofrecer una educación integral y una educación de excelente calidad para niños que están en una situación vulnerable. Ellos también tienen la visión de que con este proyecto pueda disminuir la violencia que existía en esa época en nuestra región. Esto, este colegio fue creado hace cinco años, en el 2011. Ellos me invitan a conocer el colegio, me invitan a conocer a los niños, me enamoro del proyecto y al acercarme más a los niños, al conocerlos un poquito más, al sentir sus necesidades, sus carencias y también percibir el gran potencial que estos niños tenían, nace mi deseo de crear este programa, del programa de meditación laica en escuelas con la finalidad o con el deseo y el objetivo de entregarles a los niños herramientas para que ellos puedan ser personas más felices, puedan ser personas que pueden vivir en paz y también que puedan tener una mente enfocada, una mente clara, una mente atenta. En este proyecto me invitó Pilar para colaborar en guiar meditación en la escuela ECAT y me motivó y entusiasmó mucho la posibilidad de poder compartir estas prácticas que son maravillosas, poder llevarlas a los niños. Cuando iniciamos con la meditación, las primeras semanas, los niños chiquitos se distraían mucho, se reían, jugaban y tardaron algo de tiempo en empezar a concentrarse. Los ya más grandecitos, los adolescentes, ellos se resistían a hacer la meditación. Sin embargo, tanto los niños pequeños como los adolescentes, a través del tiempo, han ido incorporando las prácticas y nos han manifestado cosas muy bonitas. Desde que practico la meditación, me he podido dar cuenta de mis emociones ante las diferentes situaciones que se presentan en mi vida. Al principio, me costaba concentrarme y profundizar durante las prácticas, pero ahora puedo decir que es una gran herramienta con la cual puedo interactuar con mi mente, cuerpo y corazón. To me, the meditation has helped me to concentrate more. For example, when I do my homework before meditation, my mind goes to other things, and now I concentrate more. Also has helped me when I get desperate. 
en los niños pequeños, hemos ido gradualmente llevándolos a que vayan sintiendo las tres píldoras y los adolescentes también y pueden durar más tiempo. Con los niños pequeños las meditaciones son más cortas, los niños grandes o los adolescentes duran un poco más. Algo que nos ha gustado mucho es lo que manifiestan cuando dicen que, por ejemplo, estaba enojado, le quería pegar a mi hermano, me acordé de la píldora, tomé la píldora blanca de la quietud y ya no le pegué. A mí la meditación me ha servido mucho en los problemas familiares y en los problemas con mis amigos. Cuando me peleo con mis hermanas o con mis amigos, me tomo las píldoras y me edito por las, por las emociones malas, relajarme y alegrarme. I managed to hear the silence and I realized that my mind was focused more on what I was doing. I start feeling better and myself and I like it. Aprendí a controlar mis emociones ya que antes no sabía cómo. Yo me siento muy feliz de tomar clases de meditación porque me ayuda a pensar mejor las cosas, a concentrarme. Cuando mi papá falleció, el dolor en mí era muy fuerte y con el tiempo lo he podido sobrellevar. La meditación me ha servido para canalizar mis emociones como el enojo, tristeza, nerviosismo. Y les he enseñado a mis hermanas todo lo que he aprendido y les ha gustado mucho la meditación. A mí la meditación me ayudó a conectarme con la paz y armonía y a llenarme de felicidad. Y les quiero agradecer a mis maestros, mis Pili y al profesor Carlos. Y para una persona muy especial, Tenzin Wanyan. Muchas gracias por enseñarnos tan hermosa técnica. Realmente esta experiencia de estar trabajando con los niños ha sido algo que ha enriquecido a mi persona, porque dicen que el que enseña aprende dos veces, pero el enriquecimiento de ver cómo los niños han ido asimilando estas prácticas es algo realmente muy bonito. Y al escuchar los testimonios de los niños, me motiva más el que estos niños puedan ser beneficiados todavía más y aparte de que este proyecto pueda ser compartido para ser de beneficio a cualquier otro espacio que lo requiera. This is all about working with our mind. Everything what we create, it's, we create with our mind. Every su sufferings that you have, every fears that you have, every situations that you create, every joy you have, every creativity, productivity, everything is our mind. So basically, we, are, we have so much potentiality. And the children, you can see, they have so much potentiality. Children need that protection, nourishment, care, attention. Same teachers we need also. I'm, I'm a teacher also, and we also need same care. So in our life, main question we always ask, what I can do the best to be happy, to be helpful, to do something good for others. Everybody is in a different places in our life. Okay. No, not everybody is in the same. But the main question is, what you can do the best out of your situation, a given situation in your life? Yeah. Then that's a very important question. And as a teacher, you have probably, I'm sure you have idea, probably sometimes we forget how much responsibility we have how much we can make a change in one children's life. And this is not always about what you tell them to do, what rules you make for them, what, how pressure you pressure them to do certain things. That's not the way how people learn. That's not the way how people connect. The moments when they know, a one simple moment when the child felt a great connection with the teacher, felt deep connection, mm -hmm. deep respect, deep impact on the child. That short moment, that five minute can remain entire life in the children's life. Never forget, keep yeah. impacting entire life. We'll be old, old person one day who remember when I was in kindergarten, I was uh, in elementary school, I remember my teacher that impacted me. And those moments has something to do with each one of us when we connect ourselves, when we feel well, when we feel focused, when we feel calm, when we feel some sense of peace in ourselves, when we feel some sense of safe in the environment, in relationship between each other, then the best part of our comes out to do the best thing for the society, 
in this case to the children. But sometimes it's difficult, life is difficult, family, work, amount of work, deadlines, and particularly I understand the children here, they are not always having so much a good home back in their own family place, no good parents, very difficult situation, they treat it bad. So this is their refuge. You, you, all of you are their parents. And you have your own difficulties and challenges. And sometimes it's difficult. But so when you feel that kind of challenging situation, difficulty, so what do you do? We talk about pain body or pain speech or pain mind. Those moments, our body, our speech, our mind is activated through those collective individual pains. Somebody looks at you, they can feel your pain. The children, they get impacted by your pain. Your silence can have an effect on them. Because there is a communication there. So when, then you, when you talk, it's everything, it comes out. But my main point, what I'm trying to say, how you protect yourself. So yes. when we talk about these three pills, this is, I'm so impressed with the children. It's not, it's simple, but not necessarily that simple for the, that age, you know. I mean, you all done better job than I do with my son, 11 years old. <laughs> he, he's interested in playing. So if, if anything, anything works for efficiency of the practice result, gain, he's interested. <laughs> so that's what he tries. He, he used pre three pills for his sport. So that's fine. At least he know moment when he needed to connect, he knows he can connect to him. He knows there is a place inside when everything is so unsettling, ungrounded, there is a place of stillness inside. He knows then when there is a, a, a voices of conflict in the news, in the family, everywhere, between people, colleagues, so much in your own thoughts, so much talks. You, he knows there is a place of silence go within oneself. He knows when the mind goes totally get confused, thinking very strange thing, even you get shocked about how, what, what I'm, my thought, strange thoughts. And when they, those things happen, you feel very disconnected, you know, you know where you can go inside. You know that, the place inside. We always immediately think about asking help somebody, but we never think you can be help for yourself. You can be the greatest help for yourself. But if you can, if you can go that much confusion, you can also go that much clarity. But these are like very simple methods. So I, I hope that uh, all of you uh, try a little bit, you know, experience something for yourself also. And I was thinking, as I said in the school, you know, three minutes. I know like all of you practice once a week, but my recommendation will be every class begins with a few minutes of three pills. Somehow, when your moment enter in here, you come back to yourself, to your body, to your speech, to your mind, to your heart. Stillness, silence, spaciousness. From right space, from right awareness, from right heart, warmth. Then you begin to teach, you begin to act, whatever the action is coming from right place. I think it makes, makes big difference. That class will be different, that session will be different, that meeting will be different, that day will be different if you start that way. Because if not, maybe you just came with the traffic, you got angry at somebody on, on the highway, or you have a fight with somebody in the family, you come to the class, you're feeling like this, and suddenly you yell at the child. I mean, I'm not, you know, this happens all the time like that. But if there is a break where you clear, like, like you know, phone we do, like, my son always does, like all the application, he just goes like this, clears. No running apps. It's clear, and you start new program. But if you have all these open apps, starting a new, 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 new site, it's very slow, confusing, jam. Same thing, same principle. So one last thing. The idea, philosophy behind it, three pills, Stillness, silence, and spaciousness is a way of focus and a way of 
uh, not continuing with pains of body, speech, and mind. But the idea is when you do that, there is a deep place where you can go, where very deep place, deep, deep, deep place, where you feel completely free, completely you feel powerful, completely you feel creative, uh, you, you, you feel completely different person. We call self-realization. But before you get there, you three pill, it's a good start. Okay? So thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you.